Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And can you tell the difference between these two? Well, the difference is yesterday I did this for a person, and I'm thinking that, and first of all, I've made it really big, but I mean, this thing's like seven inches, but it's only going to be like a quarter of an inch big. I was afraid that the lines on the laser are going to burn off these parts that aren't in gray. So you could double those line thicknesses very easily. These are, I'm not going to say they're double, but they're, they would be, have something to test with. So let's just delete the one I just did. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to set my nudge factor on eight inches. I'm going to make a copy control D and then move it over. And then I'm going to left click, right click. Well, if you group the whole thing together, control G or group. When you go to effects and go to contour, you can contour the whole thing to the inside. 0 0.02, I'm actually gonna go 0 0.03 for the video and contour it. All that did was put a little bit of a, a border around the inside. So now that we take the Smart Fill tool, let me zoom in a little bit like this, take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in and nudge it over, nudge it over, nudge it over. And in that short of time, whoop, you have created something that has a lot more space between the lines that is still going to look good on engraving. Um, that looks a little weird. I would, you know what? That's not even supposed to be there. It's supposed to be like that. It looks just as good, and especially if you're going to make it really little, it's going to look just as good, if not better. Then I would still clean up some of this with the shape tool or the smoothing tool, you know, because but it's going to be so little, it doesn't really matter. But just in case you're ever going to use it on anything else, it would look a little bit better if you had some flat lines. And anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.